the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, my brethren in Christ. I want to greet you all today and reassure you that God loves you. God loves you. You are a child of God, created in the image and likeness of God. From Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1, And now thou says Yahweh, he who created you, Jacob, who found you, Israel, do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Should you pass through the waters, I shall be with you. Or through rivers, they will not swallow you up. Should you walk through fire, you will not suffer, and the flame will not burn you. For I am Yahweh your God, the only one of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt for your ransom, Kuch, and Siba in exchange for you, saints. I regard you as precious, saints, you are honored, and I love you. I therefore give people in exchange for you, and nations in return for your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nations, people, a return for your life. Are you still scared? If God could go that length to save your life, after all, what did he do? And the scriptures were heard, we have read a thousand times. Two thousand years ago, we heard from the scriptures that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, the anointed one, to redeem you from the gospel of John chapter 3, verse 16. For God loved the world so much that he gave up his only begotten son to save you and I. Why are you still scared? Why do you go on telling yourself, I will not be able to do it? This is hard for me. Are you going through any problem? Are you encountering pains in your life? Give it to the Lord because he loves you, my dear brothers and sisters. St. Paul do say, said, even if our prayers are not answered, we have a lot of difficulties, problems, hardships. Do not worry. Do not get tired. For every day we carry the body of Christ in us. And you are carrying the body of Christ in you. We died for you on Mount Calvary. Brace up my brothers and sisters. Pick up your strength. Walk. Be optimistic. And do not give devil the, the, the opportunity to come to you. When you are scared, devil will come for you. Because that is what the devil does against you. Are you not having food to eat? When Satan tempted Jesus Christ, what happened? Man does not live on bread alone. You need peace in your life. You need joy in your life. You need God's protection. So, my dear brothers and sisters, don't be scared anymore. Today on Daily Guide. I am reassuring you this, that God will always come to your aid. God said in Ezekiel chapter 18, I do not wish a sinner to die, but let him repent and live. Are you a sinner? Of course, we are all sinners. We sin every day and we beg God for his mercy. Psalm 130 does say from the Psalms of King David, he said, If you, O Lord, would mark our guilt, no one, could survive. We are living because of the mercy and love of God. We are living because we are given an opportunity today to wake up again to see another day. Today is another day in your life. Bygone is bygone. Turn to the Lord today and tell him, Lord, I am listening to you like Samuel of old. Speak, Lord, I am listening to you. Obey the commands of God. Or are your sins as red as crazy? Stated in Isaiah chapter 1, God said, I will make them as white as wool when they turn to me. Forsake your sins, undo the yoke of your life. Build your life with Jesus Christ, the new wine. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am your Father Peter Ongo. Please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do well to subscribe. Ring the notification bell and like the video. Thank you so much and God bless you all.